Hello, it's Mr. Tilson here. This is a short video to show how to design a stair to fit into very tight constraints of a very small stairwell. Um, here we have a stairwell which I've just set up in SketchUp as an example that is 1 meter 80 long and 1 meter 30 wide. That is the actual hole in the first floor. Um, we have a, a, the height which is here and our objective here is to build the stair so it goes up here and we have at least 1 meter 80 headroom from the ceiling height here to the, to the step which passes into the stairwell. Uh, to do this stair designer has some neat tools. If we go into stair designer the first thing we have to do to design this stair would be to set up a stair which is actually one meter, exactly the same size as the stairwell. So let's put in a stair which is 1 meter 80 and by 1 meter 30. And let's give it a, let's give it a last step of 50 mil. I always have to put, like putting a last step on my stairs if possible. Um, the control data, if I put in the if I look at the control data that I've set in, I've set in the control data here with a maximum value of riser height a little bit more than 200 millimeters. I like to have a little bit more if the stair is very steep, I prefer to have a bit higher riser, whereas the tread widths I will never go above 200 millimeters or below 200 meters for the tread width. Let's um, ask for the, uh, let's put in the right height, which is 2,950 2, millimetres, and let's update it with, say, 14 steps. Here we have a height, we have the step which is a bit high, we are, we are going above 200 and, um, 210 millimetres, so let's put in 15 steps, take the height down, and here we have one, uh, 197 millimetres, which is okay, tread width of course is very very narrow 150 millimeters is very short and sterile does not comply to regulations this doesn't matter let's just draw the stair in as it is because what we want to do now is we want to optimize the stair um, the size of the stair with the, the necessary headroom to get up into the stairwell to do this I'm going to display the headroom control headroom control um, Stair designer, when I display headroom control, stair designer will draw in the the stairwell. Uh, the stairwell by default, it will draw it along the nosing of the last step. We'll give it the let the the this length. It will give it this length here, and the width the width of the stair. But let's change the width of the stair to our known width of 180 millimeters. Uh, 1,800 millimeters. Sorry. If I apply this, we can now see the actual hole. Of the stairwell is around, is around here, and that this, the control height is 200, uh, 2,750 millimeters, 2 meters 70, which is in fact the distance underneath the ceiling. Uh, well, maybe that's not quite right yet because I haven't put in the right floor thickness. The right floor thickness is 220 millimeters, so we put in here 220 millimeters. And we can see that the head height is actually the distance between the floor and the ceiling, which is 2,730 millimetres. Um, the parameters, the, the minimum head height, minimum height here, which is the control height, is 1,800 millimetres, which is really, for my, me, a minimum. I wouldn't go below that at all. So, how do I optimise this stair? Well, the easiest thing to do is just open up the stairwell parameters box again. Huh? We can see that the stair order does not comply, so we click the help button. We have 15 steps. He says that here, if I add, if I do a correction of 782 millimeters along the tread line, if I make the tread line longer by at least 782 millimeters, I will comply to the stair roll. And I can add this dis distance along the first flight or the last flight. Let's add it along the first flight. I click OK. This gives me the riser height stays the same. The tread width is now 207 millimeters, which is much better. And the stair roll is now 600, which is OK. I click OK. And the stair has been actually extended past the stairwell now by this amount. And I can see if the, see the control height is still has gone. Is, it fits the control height of above one. 1,800 millimetres, 1,943 millimetres, so this stair is very, very good. I mean, it fits into my stairwell <coughs> with the right, all the right parameters. Even though it's quite a tight fit, it fits in. So that's how I would design 
the stair to fit up that well. What you could say as well is that it's possible to know to do the opposite. We can say, for instance, that we can put a well, we want a stair of a certain size, what size will be the well? So we could say, for instance, this stair, say the stair is actually longer. For instance, say the stair is actually three meters long. If I put three meters long here, the stair is now three meters long, but the stairwell no longer complies to dig up the stairwell is now too small because I'll be banging my head when I'm on the sixth step. So I can now add, I can add lengths to the stairwell. So that I want to add, I might put the stairwell up by 40, 400 millimeter inter interval, uh, intervals, and I apply it. And each time, if I put it, add 400 onto the onto the stair, the, this length here this, of the stair well, my height moves into the control control zone. I am uh, now above 1 meter 80, 1 meter 94, and now I apply, and I know that the 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 total the length, shall we say, of this stairwell has to be 220. So that's a way you can actually modify or adjust or calculate the approximate size of the actual stairwell according to the stair. But let's go back to 1 meter 80 and let's go back to our stair that was actually um, I think it was 2 meters 50 or something like that. Not quite. Let's, I don't remember what it was, but let's, uh, let's use the help function again to get the right distance, which was 2 meters 58.2, in fact, is the minimum thing for the stair. And let's just export this stair as 3D. And let's put it, um, let's put this stair on the office desk. And let's try uh, headroom headroom zero one stair and let's put this into SketchUp. Let's import this into SketchUp headroom zero one. And now we have SketchUp has put in a, in, a, in, a, in a stair in the stair that comes from Stair Designer. Let's move this step here along here and in fact we ought to move it back at least uh, 50 and here we have the stair in the actual room and we can see that the stair right, so The stair now fits neatly into this room, no problem. We can take the head, the head room height from here up to here. Oh, it would actually be from here, sorry. We get one meter, around about one meter ninety, which was what stair designer calculated for us. So I hope that's been of interest to you. That's just a quick demonstration of how to use stair designer's optimizing tool to optimize the size of your stair. Thank you very much for looking and I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye.